So today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool and very easy inspirational canvas that you can hang on your wall. For the background of my inspirational word, I'm going to use just a canvas from the dollar store and just some regular acrylic paint that you can also get at any craft store or the dollar store. I'm going to do blue, but I want it a little bit lighter, so I'm going to mix it with some white because this is just going to be the background. And you want to mix enough that you have enough to cover the whole canvas, otherwise you'll have to remix it. So once you're happy with your color, you're going to start painting your canvas and you're going to paint the whole background one flat color. So it's actually easier to get an even coat if you use a mini roller and you roll your paint all across and then it becomes much more even and then you're going to let it dry. And if you want, you can even get some white paint and sponge some little clouds in the background too. So just free flowing, you don't really need to have any kind of pattern to it. So you can just kind of wing it and get some paint and make some clouds. So I printed out the word believe and I ended up using the font impact in the 200 size and I printed it in landscape uh, and word. And what I want to do now is just tape some MacTac on top. So MacTac is clear, uh, sticky on one side. Uh, sometimes people use it for shelf paper. Sometimes people use it to cover books with. You can get it probably in most craft stores, maybe hardware stores as well. So what I want to do is trace the word believe. So I'm going to go with my Sharpie and I'm going to be very carefully trace the letters. If you have trouble seeing through the MagTac, you can actually mount this on a window so it'll be easier to see the letters through it. And what you want to do now is we're going to remove it and we're going to put this on a cutting board so we can actually cut out the letters with an X-Acto knife. So I just use this old tray as a cutting board and now we want to very carefully cut just to the inside of the black lines because this is pretty thick lettering. So we're just going to cut the whole thing around. Now it is a little tricky to do the curved letters. You'll see the um, straight ones are a lot easier so really it's only the B that's tricky to do and the other thing about the B is you're actually going to have to keep the inside bits because we'll want to use those when we stencil it on the canvas so we'll remove this B but we're going to cut these out and keep them so we can stick them onto the canvas. So we'll just kind of cut straight down and cut like the half circle. And we'll save these little bits to go on the canvas. And for the straight letters, you can actually use your ruler and it's going to make a nice straight line. And the rest of the letters are pretty straight, so I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler to cut out the rest of the shapes. So now I've cut out all of my pieces, and what I have to do is very carefully take the backing off the MacTac and center it on my canvas. And you want to make sure that the canvas is very dry otherwise it's going to peel off the paint. So now I'm going to very carefully remove the backing off the MAC tag. So it's 
probably easier if you're doing like a phrase that has more than one word you might want to consider doing one word at a time rather than the whole phrase on one piece and now we want to very carefully center it so we have equal space on each side and if you want you can even get a ruler to measure the distance and wiggle it around if you have to. So I measured the distance along the bottom to make sure it's straight. So the bottom part is straight. And now what you're going to do is just very carefully smooth it out so there's no bubbles and you want to make sure all of these edges are flat down because you don't want the paint to leak out. So make sure these are all flat down and then at that point you can take your little pieces that you saved if you have any letters that have little spaces in the middle. So you're going to take these little bits and place them where they need to go. So just smooth around the edges with the back of your fingernail to make sure that the paint's not going to leak around. And then what you can do now is you can cover the rest that's not that the MacTac hasn't covered the whole thing and you can spray paint any color you want to make the letters. But I'm going to actually use acrylic paint to show you how to do that. So now we're going to add our paint. So I chose silver and we want to use a dry clean sponge and we're just going to sponge our silver paint on there and then we're going to go ahead and sponge it over the letters. And you might need a couple of coats depending on the quality of your acrylic paint. So I'm going to go over it once and let it dry and then go over another time. Okay, so now I've painted two coats and I'm going to remove the MAC tax. So you want to carefully peel it up like that. And you do want to make sure it's dry before you peel off the MAC tack. If you want to reuse the stencil, you probably can a couple of times, but just be careful because it could it could rip. So we'll just peel it off like that. And we'll save it to use another time. You can use the X-Acto knife to take the little bits off like that. And I see there was a splotch where the paint went through there. That was probably because there was a bubble in the mag tack. But that's okay. You can just use your X-Acto knife and just scrape it off like that. So here you have your finished canvas that you can hang up on your wall.